my bangs are really long. So in response to Sarah, you asked what you should name your skunk, and my suggestion is farts. Farts is a fantastic word, isn't it? it uh, farts is like one of my favorite words. It just sounds fun. It means toots. It's just, it's so fun to say. It's like farts. 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 It's really fun. Speaking of farts, I was walking in Hawaii with my family. We were on top of this like volcano thing or next to it. And um, I said, wow, it smells like farts. And my mom said, don't say that, Shannon. And I said, what? And she said, don't say the word farts. And I said, why not? And she said that she didn't like that word. She said, I don't like that word. So her pet peeve would be farts. See what I did there? Um, and speaking of pet peeves, you asked, what is my biggest pet peeve? And I would have to say that my biggest pet peeve is when people don't know how ridiculous they look. And specifically people who try to be really, really unique by dressing in black and Converse shoes and dyeing their hair and really only doing it for the attention. You know these people, you don't like them either. But what I mean is it's just really, really kind of pathetic to watch them. I'm so nonconformist. I'm not a sheep like the rest of you. I'm so cool. Everybody love me. That was weird. But what I mean is that I think rebellion is kind of going down the toilet. And what I mean by that is I have yet to meet a person who is rebellious because they want to be rebellious. And what I mean by that is, back in the 60s and 70s, 80s and 90s even, um, people used to be rebel because they wanted to rebel. And now people seem to dress up in black and stuff because they want attention. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I guess it makes plenty of sense, you know. Appeal to those who feel misunderstood or something. But it's, it's, I feel like rebellion and nonconformity and... Um, all that jazz is really fading. It's making me sad. One of the greatest examples that I can think of are Converse shoes. It's 1970. The punks were sitting there. Man, we didn't want to be like society. What should we do? They looked down and they saw basketball players running around in these shoes and they thought, those shoes look cool. We should make them punk. I mean, nobody else wears them. They're not regular shoes. People just don't wear the shoes. They're, they're for basketball specifically. So they took those shoes and they made them punk. They wore them all over the place. And that started, I mean, shoes are not that big of a deal, honestly. But they were definitely a fashion statement. Nowadays, Converse are widely accepted. People wear Converse as regular shoes, people wear Converse to be punk, and that doesn't make any sense because they're not punk anymore. They're just regular shoes. Everyone wears them. But people still insist on wearing these shoes. The truth is, because everybody wears them, they're not punk anymore. They're mainstream. Punks, we need to find a new shoe. Bowling shoes. Bowling shoes would be perfect for punks because nobody wears them regularly, right? So if we wear bowling shoes just as regular shoes, like people are like, Whoa, that person's wearing bowling shoes. They must be a nonconformist. You know what I mean? That's how it works. Now you see people wearing, like, Converse shoes, and you don't think that person's a nonconformist because everybody wears Converse shoes. Everybody and their mother wears Converse shoes. It doesn't make any sense. So that's my question to you, Piper. Is rebellion dead? What's happening to nonconformity? Do you think we can save it? Viewers, this is also my question for you. Is Rebellion dead? What is a good shoe for punks to adopt, if not bowling shoes? Please post it in the comment section, or make a video response even better than you can see your beautiful face. Your beautiful rebellious face. Please, 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 subscribe, rate, and comment! Thank you for listening. Um, Alright, check back later. Um, Piper's up next, so look forward to her video.